Alright, I want everybody to see this. This is not propaganda at all. This chair right here, this chair right here is 200 years old. This 200 year old chair came from uh, somewhere in North Georgia. Now we are restoring this chair. So what we're doing, we got to take this chair and make it look brand new. But I want y'all to see. Now, I, I actually asked and I got into the de details of it. I didn't just assume. I want y'all to see this. Usually old ancient chairs like this, you you fill them with, with whatever you can get your hands on is what you fill them with. This one apparently has cotton. This is this is hand picked cotton, been sat on for over two hundred years, and it's just it's horrible. But it's made with solid wood, so it's gonna last forever. But I want y'all to see this. This is human hair. This is literally human hair. Imagine how many slaves it took to put human hair in this seat. It's the full seat, the full interior of the seat, it's human hair. So it's human. Not horse, not cow like they usually do, pig hair, horse hair. No, this is actual human hair, slave hair. Imagine how many slaves it took to fill this chair with human hair. Now, a lot of them are filled with horse and whatever you can get your hands on. But this came from a very, very wealthy, wealthy people in North Georgia. They're keeping this chair because of the historic and the sentimental value it has to their family. Imagine how much human, how many people it took to put this much hair inside, inside of this chair. How much hair? Don't try to think about that when you stand up for your, when you stand up for your flag and all that and you a true American today. How much, how many humans did it take to cut this, to cut and put in this chair? That's a lot. Think about that.